Concave and Convex Mirrors Terminology Now, we are going to learn how spherical mirrors, that is, concave mirror or convex mirror forms image. But, before doing so, let's discuss some important key terms about them. A spherical mirror is assumed to be a part of sphere whose center is called center of curvature denoted by capital C. Spherical mirror also have center called as pole. It is denoted by capital P. An imaginary line passing through the center of curvature and the pole of the mirror is called the principal axis. Light falling on mirror is represented by incident ray and light reflected from mirror is represented by reflected ray. A line perpendicular to surface of mirror at the point of incidence is called the normal. Normal of spherical mirror always passes through the center of curvature. The angle between incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence is the angle of incidence. It is often denoted by angle I. The angle between reflected ray and the normal at a point of incidence is the angle of reflection. It is often denoted by angle R. Rays parallel to principal axis after reflection passes through a common point on the principal axis. It is called the principal focus of the mirror and is denoted by capital F. The distance between the pole and the center of curvature is called radius of curvature, denoted by capital R. And the distance between pole and the principal focus of the mirror is called focal length of mirror and is denoted by small f. The principal focus is midway between the center of curvature and pole, which suggests that focal length is half of radius of curvature. F is equal to R divided by 2. The diameter of reflecting surface of the spherical mirror is called as aperture. The distance from the pole at which the object is placed is called the object distance denoted by small u and the distance from the pole at which image is formed is called the image distance denoted by small v. If the image is formed on screen, it is real image. If the image can only be seen in the mirror, then it is virtual image. If the image is right way up, that is, in the same direction as that of the object, then it is called erect image. But if the image is upside down with respect to the object, then it is inverted image. These are the key terms that helps us to understand about spherical mirrors and their image formation. I hope you have understood all of them clearly. Thanks for watching this video. Have a look at the range of courses available in variety of formats only on learnfatafa.com. Your favorite course is waiting for you. Hurry up and get it now.